welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here welcome my name is millicent thank you for subscribing thank you for clicking don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already so today i am in kisumu county and as you can see this is a hidden gem that you need to see you guys so continue watching this video because i'm gonna tell you the history of this beautiful stone and why it's here and what happens here so it's a place you need to visit when you come to kisumu so keep watching guys brand new vlog so today i want to show you a very different side of kisumu and you guys if you have a day at your disposal and in kisumu you can consider doing this so first things first if you want to get to kisumu and you're in nairobi you can either use the road which is like five to eight hours and if you want to use the flight it'll take like 30 to 45 minutes so yeah, so this is the place I spent the night guys because I was here for a night and a day so I enjoyed the place and uh, yeah So when you're coming from Kisumu town, you need like 30 to 45 minutes either using public or private transport to get to Kit Mikai. You guys, these are just very magical rocks that someone found them and people go in there and it's somewhere uh, we're being told people can stay there for days and yes it was very interesting and that is how it looks from the outside so when you get here you will need like 150 to 200 shillings entrance fee and you know it's a tourism site so you will find people here so many people are coming to see the rock and also there are traditional things that you know this person that founded this rock used to use and you'll be shown around how this person used to cook using these clay pots how they used to store water how they used to you know to grind maize and all that that sort of thing so that is what i'm being shown here and that is exciting One day, one time, there was a man called Ngisu. In other words, people used to call him Jadwong. Jadwong is just grandfather or mze in Luo. 
So Jaduong was a very rich Luo man and very influential because he was one of the leaders of those days. So people really respected him. So Jaduong one day wanted to get a place to build a house and when he came here, he decided to build his house next to this rock. So after some time people realized that Jaduong used to stay in this rock just for a long time. He used to spend a long time in this rock and when even people came to look for him, the wife used to jokingly just say that Jaduong is in the place of the first wife because, you know, he used to refer this place as the, as the, as the first wife of Jaduong because the time that Jaduong used to spend here was just a lot, not even a day, like several days just inside this rock. So that is where the name came from. Kit means the rock and Mikai means first wife. So it's the rock of the first wife, Kit Mikai. So during those days seasonally during the dry seasons or when we, they had drought or famine this rock used to produce a lot of water so Jaduong together with other people, they believed that when they pray and sacrifice animals on this rock, rain will come. And yes, they used to sacrifice the animals and rain used to come. So they continued praying at this place and till death, people still go there to pray and fast. And yeah, there's a whole religion that believe when you come to pray here, things happen. And yes, that is why you've seen people singing inside the rock and, you know, praying. So they believe that they come here, they put their, you know, candles and everything so that they can pray to their God. And yeah, so it's a very sacred place also. So this place has floors. <laughs> so when you come here, you need to climb to the first floor and go to the second floor so that you can get the very, very nice and incredible views. I know you will want to stay here for a whole day just like we did. <laughs> I stayed there for a whole day with the very exciting views and it was physically challenging and mentally challenging you guys to climb up this rock. What? It was so hard but it was a bit scary. That's why I'm telling you it was mentally challenging. It was scary because you might think the rock will fall on you but whoa, no way. All the time I was saying that this rock will break one day, this rock will break one day because I was super super scared. I was thinking this rock will actually break when I was there. <laughs> so when I came out I was like, ah, okay, it didn't break when I was there. So yeah, so when you come here just make sure you are wearing very, very good, you know, outfit to make you climb this rock to up there. So this place is rocky but um, the Kit Mikai rock is just special because it's sacred and you know it's historical it has a story that's why it's just different from all the other rocks at this place So we were told that all the trees around this place are herbal medicine. So uh, Jaduong used to plant these trees and whenever the tree falls, the falls down, there are people who just come and plant the trees here again. So all the diseases that you might be suffering from, they can be treated using the trees around this place, you guys. So that is why the place is very sacred and very interesting. So if you're liking this content and you've watched this video to this point and you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and share with your friends because sharing is caring. So that is it for today's video guys. See you in my next one. Thank you.